We want the Cambridge Science Centre to be really a place for all ages. What you'll see behind me here today, families really getting stuck in, making little sycamore seeds and launching them up in the tube. It was such an interesting thing just to see how things are made and what you perceive with your eyes. The fact that they can make something, put it up the wind tunnel and see it fly and it's just, it's so exciting for them. And they're getting a huge amount of science out of it and that's the sort of activity we're going to be running. Creative, engaging and lively. We are a centre of science and it seems a bit bizarre that we don't have somewhere, you know, a more permanent base like this where, where our children can learn. Instead we have to go to London. Well, we're Cambridge, so why haven't we got something like that? I'm really surprised there isn't one already, um, especially a modern and sort of based around relevant research that's going on at the moment as well. So yeah, that'd be really great to see. The public's reaction has been absolutely fantastic. I think there's definitely a void in this area of, of the country um, for a science like this, some kind of interact, uh, interactive science exhibits. And so it's been a very, very positive reaction. Uh, researchers have to come to things like this to help communicate their, uh, their knowledge. And it's also a good excuse to beg, borrow and steal different techniques from the arts as a way of trying to celebrate what science is. It's, it's not just the knowledge we find out, it's, it's the pursuit and there has to be a joy in that. And that's the whole point. When I grow up I'd like to be a scientist. School kids and teenagers coming in, building and making things alongside professional researchers, engineers, whoever it is and learning the skills that will actually help them along in their careers. So this is great because it starts to engage them, it encourages them to stay with science later on when they're making choices about what they're going to study in their education. I think that's why centres like this are really important. Especially the young ones that are growing up, they really need to know like, what things look like. So if they have hands-on experience, then they'll grow up knowing some of these things. I think it's exposure that really makes people get to know about science history. Lots of these things are centred around children and I think there's lots of adults out there that are interested in learning more about, about science and not be worried about asking questions in front of kids. I think people really, really enjoyed the shows. It was very, very popular and it really got people to interact and dance and do things that I never would have thought a room full of adults would actually do. So it was brilliant. It's great news that this, this is planned for Cambridge. It's the sort of place where I think it would be as busy as this seven days a week all year round and um, I think it's just something that's been missing for a long time. It's been uh, very interesting and very exciting. It's like going to London, going to the Science Museum, but here in Cambridge it's, it's lovely to have something so close and local. Science is something that's achievable, something anyone can do. It's not that difficult, dusty thing that only super brainiacs can do, that anyone can do science if you just ask the right questions.